Hello, I'm Pastor Aaron. Welcome to Redeemer Lutheran's Midweek Devotion. Thanks for listening. Jesus Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Did you say that this last week? Maybe in worship you did. We just were just coming off the celebration of the resurrection. And for many, that's a once in a year thing. It's really special. We have a very special Sunday service. Holy Week leads up to it. And as right as is right, we in the Christian church make a big deal about the resurrection of Jesus. It's important because without the resurrection of Jesus, nothing, and I mean nothing else, matters. It's the foundation for all the teachings in the scripture. It's the linchpin that holds everything together. Without it, there's nothing. Our ancestors in the faith, long, long time ago, understood the importance of celebrating the resurrection. So when they would celebrate the resurrection in the spring of the year, they often celebrated it for seven weeks straight, right up until Pentecost. We still do that in the church. But they would celebrate it with potlucks and festivals every week. But they did something else to stress the importance of the resurrection. And that is, in their Christian freedom, of which Paul speaks in his letter to the Colossians, they chose to move the day of worship from the Sabbath, which is a day of rest, the Saturday, because Christ had fulfilled that rest for us by, by fulfilling God's law, suffering and dying to pay for all our sins. And they moved it from that Sabbath then in freedom to Sunday, the day he rose from the dead. So every week in, Christian, in the Christian church, we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, and rightly so, because it is that important to everything we, we believe, everything the Bible teaches us. St. Paul gave this one, these wonderful words for us in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. He wrote this, For what I received I passed on to you as of first importance, one, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, that he was buried and that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. And Paul con later continues, Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. So you see, it's that important. Jesus did rise from the dead, and that means that everything he accomplished before that stands good for you and for me. His righteousness is yours. His suffering and death pays for your sin and guilt. His resurrection assures you that God loves you. That's something we celebrate, not just once a year, not just for seven Sundays, every week of the year. Jesus Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Go out and celebrate. Have a great week.